Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder and we are at Sick Week 2023. It is day three and we're at South Georgia Motorsports Park. Today I'm joined by Tanner Stover. Behind us is his 68 Chevelle with a twin turbo 427 cubic inch LS and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Tanner, thanks so much for giving me a little bit of time here to chat about this gorgeous Chevelle here, as well as an awesome twin turbo LS engine. And uh, you know, we were chatting a little bit before cameras started rolling. But you've, you've owned the car for a little while. So we'd love to know a little bit about the history and kind of what you have in it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So this car for sure has a story. Um, pretty much throughout my younger years, I grew up going to the racetrack with my dad. He had a 1969 Chevelle. Um, Long story short, our local track closed. We got into off-road racing. Once we kind of got bored with that, we got back into drag racing. So we uh, looked for long and hard for this car. Yeah. We ended up flying out to Indiana, um, originally from California. This, that's where we purchased the car. Okay. Um, but yeah, we went to Indiana, bought the car, had it shipped back. And over the last 10 years, we've put a lot of time, money, and effort to get it where it's at now. Yeah, I noticed the, uh, the hashtag Tanner's paycheck. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, um, I'm a little bit younger than most people out here, I would say. So, for a while, you know, my dad was supporting the whole racing program. And as soon, I was going to school for mechanical engineering. Okay. So, as soon as I graduated and was able to afford my own, uh, own stuff, right. it started being my paycheck that goes into the car. So, that's kind of where that's sticker comes from yeah, that's awesome um, very good now obviously you have the ls engine here behind us uh walk us through a little bit of that build you know what what kind of all is inside it yeah definitely so it's a uh it's 427 ls like i said it has a dart uh iron block okay with frankenstein f310 heads um has a cali's crank cali's i-beam rods je pistons the um, cylinder heads have top fuel hoops in them, so we run a copper head gasket. Okay. Um, that way we can give it all the boost. Yeah. Uh, it has a dual fuel system on it. So for when we're racing, we run off methanol. Okay. And we use uh, our 700 pound per hour uh, atomizer fuel injectors. And then it has a pump gas system. Yeah. Um, the methanol has a mechanical pump up front. And we got a nice big 20 gallon tank in the back for the long drives. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's needed, right? Definitely, uh, yesterday was the longest drive we'll make this week. Yeah. But, uh, definitely comes in handy. That Tanner, you got the, uh, the twin turbos up here. You want to talk a little bit about some details of that? Yeah, yeah. So, the, I, uh, this car had a big lock in it with a bunch of nitrous. So these turbos are a whole new thing to me. Yeah. Um, still trying to get our heads wrapped around them. Um, but they are twin 80 millimeter force performance turbos. Okay. Um, they've been working really well for us this week. Yeah. Um, and how much boost are you running through? Uh, we're starting to just scratch the surface, I'd say. We're right around 30 pounds on the okay. top end. Yeah. Uh, today we went 779 at 174, so that's yeah. our personal best. Awesome. Well, congrats on that. Thank you. Yeah. Now, you mentioned you had a nitrous engine prior to this yeah. uh, twin turbo setup. You know, are, are you a nitrous guy? Is that kind of what you grew up knowing? Or uh, and are the turbos just a brand new thing? Um, I mean, like I said, you know, I grew up going to the track with my dad. He used nitrous. Um, I mean, the most biggest reason that people use nitrous, right, it's because it's easy. Yeah. So as it progressed, you know, oh, let's just put a plate on it. Well, that one plate turned into a, let's put a fogger on it. Let's, so now we ended with a two-stage plate and a direct pour system on it, spraying roughly 800 horsepower through by the yeah. time we said, you know what, 
uh, after trying to make it fair. after the fourth or fifth pet, fifth set of pistons, we were like, all right, let, let's uh, <laughs> right. let's change this up. Yeah, and yeah. Do something different. Here. Try to save some parts. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Tanner, you're talking about uh, you know time today. You're seven seven to nine. Uh, again, personal best. So congrats. Uh, what's the expectation for the week in terms of your ETs? You know, is you know, are you trying to get lower than that, or is that you're trying to repeat that type of time? Um, I mean, we're always trying to get lower, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, in terms of like, we are satisfied with with that. Yeah. However, of course, we want to go faster. So we came here with the main goal. If we can finish this week without any major mechanical problems or failures that put us out, um, you know, that's a win in our book. Yeah. But the next goal is to be able to run a seven every day, which yeah. we've succeeded. Um, now, if we could go faster every day, that would even even be better. So, right. Uh, right. a little bit more on that. We started on Monday in Orlando. We ran 799. Yesterday in Bradenton, we ran 789. Today we went 779. Right, so if we can, if we can yeah. kind of continue that, that uh, yeah, that pattern, that would be awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Knocking a, knocking some time off is always good, right? Yeah. Definitely. And I understand this is your first drag and drive. Yep. Uh, what made you choose Sick Week out of you know a couple of the national options and some of the regional options that are out there these days? Right. Um, well, like I said, I'm originally from California. Uh, I had recently, within the last six months, got a great opportunity to work for uh, TBM Brakes okay. under Motion Raceworks. Okay. So I ended up moving to Bradenton and just kind of the stars aligned right where the car was in a position where I said, you know what, let's uh, let's try and do this. So the, right. when the opportunity came up for us, um, we pretty much, my friend and I, Sachin, who we, we built the whole car together. There's one uh, one other friend, we call him Cameron, he's not here right now. Okay. but. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Cameron. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically the stars just aligned right. And okay. That it was the best, easiest uh, event for us to participate yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, certainly. Uh, Tanner, you mentioned uh, about 30 pounds of boost running through the twin turbos at the top end of the track. You know, how much horsepower are you getting out of the LS engine? Um, it's probably somewhere around 15 to 1700 horsepower yeah, okay. on that 30 pound number. Yeah. Um, now we, we built this thing to be like capable of about 21, 2200. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll get quite that far this week, but you know, of course, like I said, we're always trying to go faster. Right, absolutely. Now, obviously, you've been improving each day on the track. How have the drives been so far for you? you know, has the car been behaving well on the street? Yeah, it's yeah. been uh, it's been really good. We have a minor transmission leak, but nothing to really be too concerned about. Yeah. Kind of just monitoring it, making sure our levels aren't getting too low. Um, other than that, I mean, the drives have been extremely well for us. Yeah, um, good, good. The last few weeks we were fighting some valve train issues, but we were thankfully able to kind of sort those out before we uh, started the week. So we've been, yeah, we've been doing really well. Yeah, awesome. Tanner, anything else about the LS engine that we've left out here? Any details about the components in the build? Uh, not really. I mean, the only thing I kind of forgot to mention is I, I briefly touched on it, but you know we've been working on this thing for three years, my buddies and I, and uh, yeah. pretty much everything that you look at on the car, everything that has, it's all been thought about to do drag and drives. Okay. So I think that our success is a, is a tribute to how how much time it took us, yeah. but look at how much fun we're having now and how how well the car is doing. Yeah. Um, I really think that's just the hard work yeah. and you know thought and effort that was put into it. So that's definitely a big part of it is building the engine and the car for the application, right? Yeah. yeah. So, well, kudos to you guys. Tanner, thanks so much awesome. for giving us some of your time today uh, during day three here at Sick Week. Awesome Chevelle, awesome LS engine. And again, thank you. Thanks, man. Guys, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content, and we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.